And this is Mike Stand here, and we're talking about uh, things that have happened in your life that have caused you to reevaluate your uh, position on a given topic. It might be something serious like politics or religion. I mean, people say you should never discuss politics or religion because you tend to fall out. Well, I'm a radio talk show host. There's no need to fall out for me. We can just have a frank and open discussion. It may be something to do with maybe your family have had a difference of opinion and they're no longer speaking to you. So it may be something totally serious and something that's really bothering you. You want to get it off your chest. If you want to keep a false name and not admit to who you are, uh, that's fine also. Uh, you never know, this could be quite an emotional first. So uh, I'm ready to receive your calls on this topic of change of heart. Let resolution be your solution. And our first caller has uh, kept his name private. So it may be somebody that has rung before, but today he's, he's keeping it himself. Things pretty close to his chest. So caller, go ahead. I will. I've had a bit of an existential crisis, like, you know. What is it that seems to bother you? Well, I've got a, a, a method of uh, evaluating things in life, you know, that's really uh, significant to me. It works with, like, the Superman uh, and, and that, you know, uh, uh, and other, other things, like a famous uh, Western actors, like, uh, you know, John Wayne and stuff. But, but it's really taking a battering, like, and I... I, I it's, it's really shaking me down to my foundations. I'm just trying to figure out what it is that's bothering you about this system that you have in place. Well, it turns out that Sherlock Holmes was played by such a variety of actors, including John Cleese. I mean, John Cleese, a comedy actor, man. It's so upsetting. Why do you find it so upsetting that John Cleese, a fine British actor, has played Sherlock Holmes? Well, he's so over six foot five, man. But there's no way that he's better than Basil Rathbone. Well, it's just inconceivable, you know, that my system could be so wrong. I feel like, I feel shattered, you know. You feel shattered? How tall was Basil Rathbone? Six foot one and a smidge, you know. I mean, I, admittedly, he was working against the odds because he was in black and white. And he had Nigel Bruce like dragging him down, like. But still, he was a fantastic portrayal of the of the great sloth detective, you know. And to find out that nearly four and a half inches, John Cleese, you know, from clockwise, man. Wait a moment, there. John Cleese's uh, sole body of work is not down to clockwise. Aye, that's right, you know, he was also a creator of Faulty Towers. I mean, he's the greatest actor alive that's played Basil Faulty, I'll grant you that. Has anybody else played Basil Faulty? I don't think that's relevant. So, Ron, you're seen troubled by your having to rethink your uh, measuring structure for the uh, performances of certain uh, uh, actors and uh, celebrities that you've admired because of their uh, respective heights. Aye, well, you know, I think that... Uh, John Cleese, like, as, as much as he wasn't necessarily the major uh, uh, character for playing the Sherlock Holmes man, he could have done, uh, I could have done Jack and Ori, uh, you know, they could have had him as the regular presenter on Jack and Ori telling tall stories, like. Uh, in fact, uh, you know, they, they, they could have renamed the program uh, bearing that in mind. Well, what would you say the name of this show, uh, Jack and Ori, which I'm uh, not familiar with, what do you think it should have been called? Well, why not tall stories with John Cleese, you know? It's, I mean, he certainly would have been somebody to look up to, like. Thank you for your suggestion. Anyway, I'm going to go for a lie down, if that's all right with you, Mike. Well, thank you very much, caller. Uh, I hope you recover soon. Keep your tin up. And our next caller about changes in life is Fred. Oh, well, you know, we've had uh, some terrible terrible news ourselves, you know, uh, my wife, I mean, I treasure my wife, we've been together for so long, you know, and I, I think we've more or less got used to each other, and you think that there's nothing that you can do that would surprise you, you know, after all these years, but my word, I'm, sh I'm shaking myself to the foundation, 
what seems to be the problem. Uh, this sounds very, very serious, and I'm a bit concerned about it tad concerned about your welfare here, Fred. You're normally so upbeat talking about walking out there with your little dog and all this. I will, that's just it, you know. She's talking about getting a cat. Your wife's talking about getting it. Now, Fred, uh, are you telling me that you have a total uh, footballification of your pet household where you can only have dogs, never a cat allowed in the building? Well, I don't know how my little dogs are going to react, you know. And I can't have her upset, you know. I just, I just can't. It, 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 it's heartbreaking, you know. She howls, the, 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 the wind is sort of rattle, you know, and it's, it's a blood-curdling thing, you know. And you never know. I, I, I mean, what if it's a very friendly and lively cat? I mean, things like that, you know. Dogs and cats don't mix, as far as I'm concerned. I think you'll find that in the real world, they do far more often than you think. You look after yourself now, Fred. Let resolution be your solution. As I said, we're talking about uh, life changing situations, and uh, you may want to uh, get in touch. Our next caller, our next caller is uh, Francisco. Francisco, is that you? Yes, Nick. It is me, Francisco. Como lembras de I? I'm outside the the building. Uh, I've gone out for the coffee and the sandwiches, and what has happened, you see, is a terrible thing. Never mind. You, you, you certainly have not forgotten my uh, uh, specific sandwich there, have you, there, uh, with the roll and the bacon and lettuce and the tomato, tom tomato, as you, you guys say over here in England. No, no, this is not this, Nick, at all. I have got everything uh, as, we, as we were going to have for the lunch, but I have forgotten the key code. I can't give out the key code over on the air there, Francisco. I'll give you a text in a minute. Oh, thank you very much, Nick. Uh, uh, yes, as soon as I get in, I will put on the kettle and make your coffee and my uh, tea, and we will sit down over lunchtime. Thank you very much. I am very grateful. Oh, to me, it's just so much word salad. Well, it's not only crunch time for the lunchtime, it's crunch time for the end of the show. Uh, Francisco's been out to buying, as you know, and now it's time for us to move on. We've had some interesting calls. It's been an entertaining uh, three hours. Thank you for sticking with us. And uh, it's time we moved over to Sports Report with our top sports reporter, Riley Thurston. If you like this channel, like and subscribe our page. Share it with your friends. If you understand the underlying message here, which is about entertainment and fun, keep smiling, then continue to stay with us. I look forward to interacting with you in the future.